What's up you guys? Welcome to Respawn Inbox, one day early, actually. And we missed last week, but we were not about to miss this week. Um, yeah, Respawn Inbox, we're answering your guys' questions, comments, you know the routine. As usual, whoever sends in the first question that we can actually read that's made up of complete words, mm -hmm. they don't even have to be yeah. spelled right. Just we actual read it. words are preferable. And, and there's actually a good question from Rob Young. Hutch, will you, will Hutch play Skyrim? Liked four times. Yeah. Uh, I will. Uh, I, I've been talking about getting a PC a lot, and I'm actually going to be getting one very soon. I will get it on PC. Because it looks Question. real good on PC. Real smooth. I Question. Mean, yeah. What is your character going to be? What are you going to be? What are the classes? Yeah. Uh, you. C it's up to you, man. The, the yeah. only limit is your imagination in the world of Skyrim. You could be, uh, <laughs> you could choose. In Fable Do you want to be good with, with a bow? You want to be good with a say, sword? Say it like Peter, Mo <laughs> Peter Molyneux would say it to him if he was trying to pitch uh, what yeah. character. So, uh, The only limit in Skyrim is your imagination. <laughs> yeah. Thank and Peter Fable Molyneux. 4. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peter Molyneux, and every Tuesday from now until forever, we're releasing Fable 4 and calling it whatever we like. Fable Forever. <laughs> Modern Warfare 3, Fable 4. Fable 4. Yeah. You guessed it. Yeah. Battlefield 3, Fable 4. Quite good, yes. Yeah. Fable 4 yes, yes, yes. will be Fable 5. Fable 5. That will be oh, Fable 5. That's, I'm breaking the pattern there. Hey, hey. Ryan Bravo? Your middle name is Bravo? Like the television network? Wow. Sweet. Like a trucker. Uh, Brian Ham Hamdan? Your name is Ryan Bravo Hamdan. That sounds like walkie talkie code. That is sweet. You know? yeah. Ryan Bravo uh, Hamdan. 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 Uh, he wants to know how would you guys uh, want the world to end? Mm. Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden, Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden status. All he the major, explodes all everything. The, all the major economies just get exploded. Mm -hmm. We should uh, we should hold hands everything gets and we should say zero. we should say you met me at a very strange time in my life. You ready? So here, hold my hand. My hands are kind of cold though. I have right, poor circulation. Sorry, I'll do it. Okay. Here, we can all do it. So I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Edward Norton. I'm gonna be, you're gonna be a woman. Okay. Okay. You met me at a very strange time in my life. Where is my mind? Uh, <laughs> Tyler William Isaacs says, asks, if you could buy anything in the world, I'm holding it like I'm fucking sick. Yeah, I'm doing like, it too. <laughs> I'm like, mm. Tyler, it's Tyler William Isaacs asks, if, if you could buy anything in the world but only have it for the day, well, what would it be? I would buy Comcast. For a day? And, but then it would go away. Completely change programming. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a good Across idea. Across all networks <laughs> yeah. for an entire day. Why don't you just buy every network for a day, so it's all Hutch content mm -hmm. all the time. So I would just turn every channel into a, like a live stream of, of me in my liver, living room for an I entire would, day. I would do the same Think thing. But That's awesome for my career. Who wouldn't know me after that? Yeah. I'd be the dude that took over Comcast. Yeah. You pretty much are on autopilot at that point. Movie rights, books. It would be cute animals all day long. It would be like America's Funny Home Videos, but like every network is just like a like a little... Something, something Wait, like you baby. do this too? Yeah, I do the same thing, but the baby stumbling and then we'd be like, oh. What would you buy for a day? I, I would buy Fable 4. <laughs> yeah. Early. Yes. No, you just buy Peter Molyneux. I would, yeah, what would I buy? Seriously though, I would buy, uh, I would buy, uh, fuck. I wouldn't mind buying, um, it sucks that you only get a Dubai. Room. Dubai. Mm. Really hot, oh, their economy's can kind you of buy the country? You can't buy a country. I think you can, can if you just give I, the right price. That's like a slogan. Do buy, to buy. You know? Do buy, to buy. Yeah, yeah, if I want to get sold. Bad, bad. Very clever. Bad, bad, bad. Adam Compton asks. I'm going to think about that. I might come back to that one, mm -hmm. Tyler. What would your professional Did wrestling name be? What, what would be your professional wrestling names? Mm. I might be uh, Uncle Grabby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> You'd be the wrestler that no other wrestler wants to work with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I got a fucking tag team match with Uncle Grabby. Tonight. You should be like a general, general inappropriate. That's so right. it's like generally inappropriate, but it'd be general inappropriate. Right. What would yeah. you? I'm gonna touch you where your swimsuit covers. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Mine would be sticks and stones. Oh, oh you that's good. Love one. that. That's a good. Show, I think that's show, what, you, what, show what you do. You, you, yeah. There you go. You say. <laughs> but words will never hurt me. Yeah. Aaron Lee. Oh man, Aaron. 
This is a good question, Aaron. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys ready for this? Yeah. Are you guys ready for this? <clears throat> Pop quiz hot shot. I added that part. You're approached by a ferocious tiger and an extremely poisonous state. snake. Snake. <laughs> mm -mm. By a poisonous snake. Oh, Both snake. are ready to attack, kill, and eat you. Which is interesting for a poisonous snake. That's not usually what they do, but... In your immediate vicinity, you find some rope, a water bottle, a notepad, and some leather gloves. What do you do? You just run. It's fast. Yeah. Ignore the gloves the, and the rope. You throw it down. And you just... As soon as you see a tiger or a snake, you just yeah. run. You could pretend to be a water bottle or like a piece of rope. Like in the uh, movies, yeah. you know, in the very end, and there's like twins, and like yeah. one's evil, one's good. So like the tiger would run up to you and he'd say, oh, which is the tasty one, and which one's a water bottle? And then you get away. Yeah. You'd eat the water bottle. I never even thought about that. Tigers either. are stupid. I think I would sketch them on the notepad so that I could ex explain what yeah. kind of snake it was because it's important to know what bit you if you're poisoned. I'd take a sip out of the water bottle because being hydrated is important. I would string the rope out behind me as I ran away so that I could find my way back to the spot in case Ooh, they could Or it could, be like, it could be like a tail, like a lizard. So you'd bite your, your yes. tail and then it'd come, it just, it'd rip your pants off. Yeah. But you'd and I'd probably be really scared, so I'd put the leather gloves on so that when I was rescued and I shook the hands of my rescuer, that yeah. my sweaty hands didn't freak out my... <laughs> yeah. That was good. Oh, that, that, was that was good. Thank you. That was good. That's thank you. imagination. Tyler Thompson asks, Hutch, have you heard of the idea of synchronicity? Uh, me and Nanners were just talking about that a second ago. Yeah. Michael isn't, Keaton. Isn't, I don't have my that, phone on me. That's duplicity. That's, that's, <laughs> is that when he's like... With the coke? No, it's like multiplicity. Most of the <laughs> Duplicity was another movie. Like, okay. Yeah. Have you heard of the idea of synchronicity? I think it's when I've two, heard the word listen, synchronicity. Listen, listen. I think it's when two things happen that <coughs> seem related, but they're not. No, that's not. That's like, I, uh, no, that's not what it is. Synchronicity yeah, is when. On you? Yeah. He's he's still one of my favorite bat uh, Batman's. Oh, uh, Michael Keaton. Yeah. Did you buy me a monkey, Steve? Is that what he says, or bring me a monkey, Steve? You guys remember the movie, right? Are you checking this information? Yeah, I am. What, okay. am I, what word am I looking up again? Right here. Synchronicity. Synchronicity. Sy Boom. So, it is when two things come together in harmony. Watch. It, oh, shit. Oh, hold on. Am I right? Oh, wait, no. That's not what... Let's, Let me read, read let's the just first go one. to Wikipedia. Read the first one. Calm down, it's Wikipedia. I'm going. It is the experience of two or more events that are apparently casually unrelated or unlikely to occur together by chance, and that are observed to occur together in a meaningful manner. So it's actually literally the opposite of what you said. So it's when things that you don't expect to come together and work in harmony do. Not when two things you think they've come together and work in harmony, but they really didn't. And now it's time for the rapid fire por por portion of our show where we, we talk rapidly and then we say stuff. You all right? Marius Arsenis asks, ninjas or samurais? Ninjas! Samurai. Alan Beckman wants to know, cat or dog? Sindre Ostad wants to ask, bacon or bacon? BACON! Miguel Garcia wants to know pizza or Chinese food? Pizza! Chinese food like those are Bring back the glory of the Roman Empire or the old Wild West. Wild, Wild West! Empire. Snake in my boots. Do they? No, dude, they, they little no, they fuck shoulders. Kids. Yeah. Roman Empire! Mark Samuel Abbott wants to ask, can any of you guys pull off a backflip? You got it? Yeah. Alright, I'm good. Maybe. Totally got this. Are we good? Yeah. Ah, fuck! Fuck! Call my wife! Call my wife! I broke my dick! You sick fuck! <laughs>